uh, today I'm going to make fire starters. We're using recyclable materials. Um, so I hope you enjoy and follow along. Remember to subscribe, click the like button, um, leave a comment. And thank you to all the new subscribers. We enjoy you joining our, our uh, YouTube family. Anyway, roll the intro. coffee can which I'm going to put in there and this is wax that I've saved from candles or whatever um, you can also buy paraffin wax if you want but this is from candles and it didn't get all melted down so I'm just going to put it in the water and let it melt and then I'm going to use another can and I'm just making myself a pour spout. Just like that. Okay, so now this has to heat and, and the wax melt. So I'm just going to leave it here on the burner. And the reason I have it in water is I don't want that wax getting anywhere. Uh, it can create a lot of issues if the melted wax splashes or anything else. It's a safety precaution. And we do want it to melt slowly. So I've got my burner set on medium heat and it's going to take some time to melt. Now, I've been saving egg cartons, the cardboard egg cartons. Usually I put them in the recycle bin, but today we're going to make a fire starter out of them. And Dave has brought in some shavings from the shop. So we're going to burn them anyway. Might as well make them into fire starter. So we're going to pack these into the egg cartons. And I do have a... piece of a, um, paper underneath of these. And I want these packed quite full. These are great for, uh, starting campfires, um, starting fires in your um, fireplaces. There's a big chunk. I like the finer stuff better than those shavings from the planers.
And if you don't have access to shavings, you can use dryer lint. Save your dryer lint. It makes great fire starter too with the waxing. And you put it into the egg cartons the same way. We use these all the time when we're camping. I need to get another piece of parchment paper. That's what I have underneath here. I want these packed fairly tightly. We took, <coughs> we took the lids off of these because we were planning on using them as plant starters for bedding plants. But if you leave the lid on, then you can close them up after. So I've got one that we left the lid on. I'm going to go get some more parchment paper to put. It's kind of a messy job. parchment paper underneath so that it doesn't, uh, the wax when it seeps through will clean up easily. If you use layers of newspapers it'll help too. Sales flyers, that type of thing. But the wax doesn't seem to seep through the parchment paper as quickly as it does newsprint. <laughs> You just want to pour enough in to wet down that sawdust. Okay, 
I'm not going to have enough for everything. That's okay. And that's all you do. Now you let that harden. And uh, when you go to use it, you break each of these little sections apart. And that's how you put it into the firebox. These ones are ready to go when I have more wax. But you break each one of these little capsules apart, and that's one fire starter. And you can see it on the bottom, I, I'm hoping, that it's wet from the wax. And that's why I want the parchment paper down. That's all there is to making fire starters. So it's uh, very easy to do. And so save all your leftover candles that there's a little bit of wax left. Just put it into a plastic bag and save it. And when you get enough wax and you get some nice fine shavings, I like the finer shavings. These ones are a little bit thick but they work get some fine shavings or some dryer lint then use those and uh, make yourself some fire starters for your campfires thank you for joining me today and uh, remember to subscribe like share and uh, click the bell for notification share with uh, others that you think would uh, like to learn how to do this or See the process? Especially those that uh, enjoy a campfire every once in a while. It makes for really easy campfires. We carry these in our RV all the time. And uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Have a great day. And remember, stay real. And uh, this is Sandra of the Creative Wondering Duo. Bye for now.